I'm Don McPherson, Quebec Affairs columnist of the Gazette in Montreal, with a look at the week in politics in Quebec. Well, he's only a first-term backbencher for the official opposition in the National Assembly, but Pierre Calpeldo continues to be one of the most talked about politicians in Quebec. Pelado is the consensus early front-runner in the race to succeed Pauline Marois as leader of the Parti Québécois. On Monday, he showed up at the National Assembly earlier than expected after suffering serious injuries in a recent accident. By doing so, he was making a statement. He won't use his injuries as an excuse to quit politics, and he won't let them stop him from running for the PQ leadership. But that's not the only reason Pelado was being talked about this week. On Thursday, the Globe and Mail broke the story that former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney will be named chair of Pelado's Quebecor business empire. Mulroney is supposed to serve as a Federalist fig leaf for the sovereignist Pelado so that Quebecor can expand its wireless business in English Canada. And Mulroney is supposed to stop Pelado from meddling in the running of Quebecor. But the fact is, Pelado is still the real boss at Quebecor since he's the controlling shareholder. And the news of Mulroney's appointment draws attention to Pelado's conflict of interest. On the one hand, he's a member of the National Assembly and the current favorite to become the next leader of the official opposition party. And on the other, he still controls a business empire that happens to include Quebec's dominant news media. And that's a lot of influence in the hands of one individual.